know my phone is acting like it doesn't know what it's doing. Hopefully we're live. So I'm working on, I hope, um, I want to just wait a minute or two and see if anybody's on with us. And while that's going on, I'm going to try to redo my bolts out here. that up a little bit while we're waiting on a few people to join. And um, let's see if that'll hold that up. Guess not. I mean this little box is not gonna work for me. So let's see. to give myself a little something to put this on. At least enough that I can kind of spin it around. There we go, maybe. So, see if anybody is on with us tonight and, um, and then we can get going on what I am working on tonight. Let's see. Oh, this is heavy. If I was to pull that over on top of me, it'd be a bad scene. So, Let's we'll see. Am I gonna know if anybody's here or not? Let me know if you guys are here. Let me know. Let me. Sorry for the up close. Mm, I don't know if that takes you guys away. Um. So it is Tuesday night. You guys know I come Tuesday Thursday. Hmm. So. What that does? So I'm gonna do that. I don't know you guys are out there let me know you are with me and that way I can know I'm trying to fix it so that I can see I'm just gonna wait it does say that we are live however I don't know if we truly are or not so um, and when you pop on let me know you're here so I can say hello and I am just getting ready to get started on a project that I have been working on here kind of on and off I finally got my chairs done for the young lady and the, the bar stools and they are gone and um, out the door and now they're in her possession and so we are um, happy that she is happy with her product and Again, I'm just waiting to see if anybody's here with me. Uh, if you are, let me know we are working because I don't see anything, which is really unusual. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Let me just swipe this. I'm going to do that. Maybe I can tell if anybody is out there. I know it's a wet night. It's uh, cold and damp and all that fun stuff, unfortunately. We have been in the house baking cookies and the like. I'll pay attention to my mess I got behind me. We're working, cleaning, moving furniture around, moving furniture out the door. So um, if you're new here and it's your first time visiting with us at um, Unique Finds and Designs, Furniture and Decor, thank you for uh, coming on with us tonight. Um, if you are here, let me know you're here so I can welcome you. My name is Kimberly and I am a um, furniture artist here in Kernersville. I work out of Kernersville. I'm also a Dixie Bell um, premier retailer here in the Triad. So, um, and we have several locations where we sell um, this wonderful Dixie Bell paint. So, tonight what I'm working on is this um, chest. You guys know I've been waiting on this piece behind me. I bossed it and everything. I haven't even got to it yet because I got sidetracked with um, my customer's furniture, which is normal. It happens. My stuff always gets pushed over to the side. 
we get out the paying products and get them out the door so our clients can have their products and we can keep rolling with that. It's been kind of a, a wet, nasty day. Um, I did go over to Walnut Cove. I did take some gnomes out there. So all you crazy um, gnome ladies and people, we did have a wonderful class this past Saturday. Um, we had a great class, very talented people, and I made some extra gnomes and I placed them, painted them and placed them over at Walnut Cove. If you are interested, you didn't get in on that class and you might want one of those cutesy gnomes there over there. Um, a couple of them, three of them we took over there today. Um, let's see. Other than that, <clears throat> I pushed this aside because I'm working on a special project and um, I have these luggage cases and um, or trunks if you will and I have, um, they've been sitting, you guys have probably seen them sitting back here, they were my display, I had all my product on it, well um, I had gotten been deciding that I was going to work on these and get going on them. So this trunk looks like this on the inside. So it's really cool. And what I've done to it is I've repainted it. Now I've repainted this trunk in um, our flea market decor line of paint. This is still Dixie Bell's paint, but it wasn't out of the flea market decor line. And this is the birch wood color that I've used on here. And um, I have put myself I worked on this um, with some artist brushes and um, some different things and worked on doing my my painted piece on the front of my um, and I'm gonna kind of turn it up maybe I won't knock it over so to kind of give you a sneak peek at that so that's what I've been working on and um, I've come in here with some artist brushes and um, with our Dixie Belle paint and I'll show you the colors and um, was able to come in and work with this um, wild horses, I call it. So it's very true to my heart. Obviously, I got two paints on here, and you know, everybody that knows me knows I have a paint horse out, out back. And um, so, obviously, I um, love my horses. Started off very um, back in the day, barrel racing with my girls out of Florida. And, um, now me and my old mare are too old to be sort of being out there um, rodeoing, so we are not out there rodeoing, but it's still, um, you know, it's still part of us, even though we're not in the circuit doing that anymore. We still um, still uh, and love our horses and doing things that represent, you know, you know what we what we really like inside. So. But what I am working on um, with this and doing, I'm coming in here now, as you can see, and painting the, um, the metal parts of this piece. And I'm doing that now. Um, Dixie Belle came out with this um, a while back, and this is our uh, rusty nail color. And I don't know if you guys use this very much, but it gives it kind of, here, maybe you can see, yeah, that's a better way to show that. This is the rusty nail, and this is the flea market decor line birch wood. And then I'm also using our um, coffee bean color, which, you know, is kind of a dark, it's darker than our chocolate. So um, it blends well with this uh, painting that I've been working on on the top. So um, with that said, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I'm coming along in here and I'm um, giving it this much more vintage vibe. So I'm kind of vintaging it out. And let me swipe this back because I see no one here with us and I can't tell why. Um, I don't know if you're here because I can't see that you're here. So I can't comment or speak to you. So as soon as somebody does pop on, let me know I'm here with you guys. Let me know that we are live so that um, we can continue on. But um, it's normal for me to just keep um, working through the process of what we're working on. So. Um, kind of waiting to hear from some people out there. I, I believe I'm on normal time, it's eight o'clock. I thought I was gonna be late, but we are um, we are good on time. Hopefully I'm good on battery. I don't know, I can't tell up there. But anyway, I am gonna come in here now um, and continue on with what kind of like what I've done up here on the top, only I'm gonna come on the, um, what I wanna call this, on all of the hardware, I guess, 
and um, along these edges and bring in what I'm doing here on the top into the rest of the um, piece. So I'll be able to show you guys how I'm doing this if I can find you guys. I just don't see anybody on there. This happened to me the other night when I was live for Dixie Bell. I'm like, what is going on? Where is everybody? But anyway, I'm going to continue on like I always do. And um, so I've got some artisan brushes here, just artist brushes, kind of like what we used in our gnome class. Nothing um, spectacular. They are well-loved uh, brushes. I am misting them, however, with water because I do start with a damp brush and everything that I try to do. So um, I do start with a damp brush. And I am going to come in and work with the... And I also have my baby wipes here because I'm going to put on and sort of put on and pull back off, if that makes any sense. And I also have just a little piece of cardboard here. And um, I got obviously my little heater here because the weather is um, much colder. And so this is a little going to be a little bit more tedious work to come in and do. But it's what I've been doing. Um, it's what I've done to the top here that you guys can see. So, just come along. Of course, I don't have the best of glasses here. I've got to get my eyes checked. Because hmm. I'll probably get it on my paint. Which I did, I think. But I'll try to pull it back. So I'm just going to come in along this edge where all the metal, this is all metal along here. As you see, I'm not doing a very good job staying off my paint, but as long as it's wet, you should be able to and this paint is dry, I should be able to come in with my baby wipe and clean it up a little bit. So I kind of wanted to come in here and darken out all of my hardware. color I'm using right now is the coffee bean. And so you see I'm putting the coffee bean on. If you're here with me, say let me know you're here so I can say hello to you. And um, I am working on something I've been working on for a few days, obviously. You can kind of tell that. I've had these guys sitting over here as a display that I've had my um, paint on when we would go live. And so I decided that other day when my chairs went on out, when I delivered them, that I would start on this little project that I've been wanting to get started on. And so this is my coffee bean. I put it on first. As you guys can see if you're with us so I'm just going to mimic the top into looking like um leather or an old piece old and rustic so I'm just going to come in here so I've got my fan right here with me and my paint is still wet so I'm just going to come back in and kind of take off. See, I'm still down there on that hardware, which is where So while it's wet, it's kind of like um, wet distressing, if you will. So I'm just kind of pulling back some of my paint, if that makes sense. So I've just got a baby wipe, and I'm coming back in now. 
after putting my paint on. It seems crazy to put your paint on and then pull it back off, but that's just the process to get this kind of a weathered look. So um, I'm coming in here and bringing some of the dark back off. I've got a heater running here because it's a little cool out. So I hope you can still hear me. Let me know if you can. I didn't even check to see if maybe my volume was low, but I might ought to. Let's see here. I can't tell where my volume is. My volume was, okay, just making sure my phone decided it was gonna glitch on me. Sorry, sorry. So hopefully we're still there. <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean to lose you guys. So, I don't know. These internet things, and we've had this crazy weather, so I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, hopefully you guys can still see and that I am working on the area here. And I've got my baby wiped. That's what I'm using to wipe this back. So, um, while it's still wet, you can kind of come in here. I've got mine kind of sitting on this piece, sitting on a bucket down there. So, I'm just kind of wiping it back a little bit as I might want to. Maybe a little too much right in here. You can always come back in and re-add, add and take away. Not too much in there. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna put this coffee bean on and then I'm gonna take the um, rusty nail color because if you see in my picture up on the top that I'm working on and that I painted in here, I did use the rusty nail on here and um, I want to add some of that to this hard around this hardware. So just to kind of vintage it out because I didn't want it I want it to have some contrast. So I'm just kind of using this as the rusty nail color. So I use that, and again, I've got my little piece of, normally I use a paper plate. I ran out of them because I used them in my workshop when we did the gnomes. And I'm just going to come in here and just kind of add, because I'm going to add and then take away, kind of like the rest of my piece. So it's funny, I saw that um, Pam on 44 Marketplace, she is also working on a luggage trunk. Hers is way different than mine. It's funny that we were both happy to be working on luggage trunks at the same time. I started mine um, last night. I don't know when Pam started hers, but um, I noticed that she was on there. I think it was today. She was on with a luggage um, for Dixie Bell, and I'm thinking, oh wow, that's really crazy that she's working on one, I'm working on one at the same, I'm actually working on two, I got the other one slid behind here, because um, I'm doing it totally different, I'm doing the other one, this one's obviously a um, western style trunk, and the other one's nautical, so I'm going to do two different ones, and um, so I'm, I'm working on both of them, but at at the same time, but um, one at a time live, if you will. I'll probably give you all a sneak peek at that because this one, this one that I'm working on, the nautical one, would be totally awesome if you live at the beach or have a beach house or um, something like that because it is very nautical. And um, I'll show you the end result. Obviously, this is not all I'm doing to these. Um, but I will show you guys that as we go along because that's kind of the special part of what I'm doing the rest of the um, the rest of the process that I'm going to do. But I'll show it all to you 
as we go along. So, um, again, if you're here, let me know. I don't know if you are or not. I can't tell with my phone. Um, had the same problem with Dixie Bell not too long ago when we went live for them. And I can't see the comments, so if you are there, let me know you're here, because I do not know you're here with me. And um, I hate that because I like to welcome... I know we had some newbies to our page, and we thank you guys that are coming on with us um, consistently. We appreciate that. Thank you for um, joining us and uh, following our page. We appreciate that. You don't know how much that does for small businesses like myself um, and other, other people, other furniture artists that are doing what I'm doing. It really helps when we have our loyal customers and our loyal um, fans on our Facebook page. So I thank you for that and thank you for sticking with me all this time and following us. So I'm just coming in here and getting... This is time consuming and it is going to take time. It's not going to be something you just jump out of the box and do and it be done it, it does take a rather amount of time to do it but i fell in love with this this box i've had the two of them sitting here i knew i had an idea with them in my head i just hadn't had a chance to get to those to my ideas or to my process until just recently So, now I'm getting to them. So, I am using, if you're just joining me, I'm using the coffee bean right now. And I'm putting the coffee bean um, on, coming in here and putting it on this hardware. Uh, I want to get a little smaller brush. And I've got different brushes here that I'm using to get in these nooks and crannies. I've got this little brush here to come on the bottom. So I did blend. If you're just now joining me, um, let me know you're here and that, and let me know where you're where you're viewing from, and um, I can tell you what we're doing here. I'm working on this luggage box here. I really envision this as something that someone will. I have a lot of rodeo gals out there, and I could see this being a nice trunk to haul haul things in, haul things in, or store things in. So that's the coffee bean. I'm putting the coffee bean on first, and I'm coming in with the baby wipe. So it's damp, and I'm going to come in here. And obviously, I've already painted the main part of this in the birch wood. This is the flea market decor line um, in birch wood. So that's what's underneath. And I'm coming in with my baby wipe, painting my, um, obviously I painted my birch wood on, let it set overnight. Now I'm coming in here and I'm putting on the coffee bean and I'm pulling it back off. I'm putting it on and pulling it back off so that I can vintage out my hardware and my box. Underneath here is gonna be a little bit tricky, but it's all right. So, um, baby wipes are very handy for this because it takes it, it takes your paint back off. So I'm just doing little sections at a time and I'm coming back in and I'm gonna pull some of this back off. I'm trying to be somewhat careful cause it's kind of narrow. Obviously you can tape it off, but I can come back in and clean it up so I'm not overly concerned too much about if I get over on the box because obviously you can come back in and clean up your work but right now I'm just coming in
taking down and putting it on, putting it on and taking it back off kind of thing that you're seeing. And then I'm going to come in with my rusty, my rusty nail color. I don't know if you guys have used that much or not, but this was a per perfect project for this. I use it on some other projects, but this one's really great. And um, just kind of getting some paint on my brush and then coming in here and applying it right over the top of my other paint that you see is on here. So I'm um, kind of trying to vintage out my hardware a little bit. And that's going to kind of make it look more like my picture that I did. My, I painted up to here and everything. And with the paint colors that are up here is what I'm trying to put on my luggage. So I'm incorporating my uh, rusty nail color because it's what I have up here in my, in my image. And so I'm using a combination of these two colors. So I put in a little of the coffee bean and then a little of my, my rusty nail. So if you take it off and put it and come back in and just kind of play with it, it's just like with the painting up there, you kind of got to paint it just like you would up here down on the rest of your box. So these are the two colors that I'm using tonight, um, using the combination of the rusty nail. I've already got my base coat in my birch wood. This was out of the flea market decor line, but it's very close to uh, sandbar also. So it's close to that color. If you don't have the flea market decor line and you're working with um, the other Dixie Belle colors, I think sandbar is pretty close to this same color. So if you're looking to do that or do something similar with your old luggage racks. So I'm just going to come in here now. Again, I've got the coffee bean. That's what I'm using as my dark color. And if you haven't, if you're here, let me know you're here so I can say hello to you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am working on um, my luggage racks, that it, my luggage containers that have been sitting over here as my display. And now I'm actually getting to them and working on them. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see. I went ahead and uh, been working on my painting on the top here and have got my blended painting colors up here. So the colors that I used here, I'm also using in my trunk or in the rest of the trunk area. So going over this hardware and getting it um, sort of vintaged out to match the rest of my piece. So I'm just coming in with both colors. What you doing? So I'm coming in with both of my colors and I'm just adding my coffee bean. And this is going to be the slower, tedious work. Let's see if I can pull this this way. Hopefully you guys can still see this. We've been baking cookies. Oh, and she's throwing soccer balls at me. That's not very good. You better be careful you don't fall off of the jet ski. Somebody bored, I believe. We've been baking cookies in there, trying to make some cool cookies with her today. I'm missing some gals on here tonight. I'm missing Miss Amber. She's normally on here with us some nights. But Miss T Beth, happy birthday, Miss Beth. It's her birthday today, and that's probably where her, where her and Amber maybe they're together, cause it's her mother's birthday. 
and Beth is Amber's mom, so they might be out and I'm missing them, but they'll get it back on replay. I hope they enjoy themselves and have a great birthday. So I'm going to scale down to this smaller brush on some of these smaller things. Kind of had to do that in, up, up on the top there and scale down a little bit to a smaller brush. Kind of makes it a little easier. Not make such a mess when you paint. But if you do, you can always come back in and clean it up with your baby wipe. Baby wipes are super handy um, if you are painting with uh, Dixie Belle paint and you're wanting to, or I think any, pretty much any chalk paint, because they make it easy to apply and take off kind of hard around some of these spots because you don't want to necessarily get it all over your luggage. And um, you can top coat this with Gator Hide. Um, I do really like the Clear Coat Satin. It's one of my favorites and I do use it often. So now I'm going to come in with the rusty nail and I use my cardboard to kind of brush off some of that paint. That's what I'm doing with the cardboard. So I don't really have too much paint on here. Just want to kind of give it a vintage look. And so the rusty nail to me works really good only because it really, when I put it up in here, it blends so well with my painting on the top. Kind of vintage this piece. So you can kind of see the gist of it. So that's how I'm going along. I'm going to do all the hardware like that. See if I like it. If I still don't like it, I can always come back in here and change the tone of this color and tone it down, which I might do with uh, some wax and change the tone here. But um, I'm going to play with it as I go along. See how I like it. Because um, sometimes, like I say, you walk away and you come back out, you like it better than you did. So, um, a lot of times everybody says, go with your first intuition. Because it's probably the right one. So, if you get a feeling about something, there's probably a reason. I'm just coming in here and just doing a piece at a time, a piece at a time as I work it in and just get all my hardware the way I want it. So it's just a little, going to be a little bit time consuming. And in this case, it's going to be one of those patience is a virtue, huh? but it's not always easy. rusty nail on top and then just kind of blend that in and see how I like it. Maybe I like that process better. I may and I may not. Just depends. And you always kind of come back in just like you do when you're painting here and tap, just kind of tap those colors 
in on your piece how you like it. So that's what I am working on tonight. I'm just going to come in here and vintage out my hardware. I don't know. Sorry guys. I had a phone call come in. Always. Why? Um, I should have it on Do Not Disturb, I guess. I don't even know who that was. I don't think it was anybody I really know. Half the time that's how it is. So I'm working on this piece tonight. I'm using the um, I am using our coffee bean and the rusty nail and I did put birch wood um, from our flea market decor line on the base of this piece and uh, continuing on with my process here on working with this luggage. And then um, if you feel like you're getting over or on your piece or whatever, you can always come in and clean it up with a baby wipe or you can come back in obviously with your paint and clean up your lines. But I would suggest if you're doing that to have painted your main piece um, prior to and let it sit. Um, over, I let mine sit overnight so it's not pulling anything off. I don't want to pull my paint back off necessarily the rest of it so it always helps if you paint the night before and you let it cure so um, this is just what I'm going to be working on this evening and um, I can't tell if you guys are out here or not um, and I apologize for that I don't know what is that what is with that but because I always do like to uh, communicate with you guys and um, help you out. Like I say, I know I had a couple of newbies that are relatively new to Dixie Belle painting and I wanted to help you guys out. So if you are here, you know, just leave me a message and I will, I will be able to respond after the video, I guess, or after the live if I don't see you now. Because I may have you on, I hope I don't have you guys like off, but Voice, voice off or something. I don't think so. So basically I'm coming in here with a coffee bean. I'm adding it to my hardware or to the metal sides of this piece. I'm going to get all of that added in and then see how I feel. So if I feel like I still need to add color in here or do something different on the inside of this, I will. And I will come in and play with that and work with that as I'm going along. But right now, I'm just adding that to my container. Coffee bean. So this is coffee bean. Coffee bean on, coffee bean off. So then I come in with my wet wipe and I am pulling that back, which will give it, leave it kind of uh, some of that um, paint underneath, sort of step through, and allow me to sort of vintage out my piece. And then I am adding the rusty nail also and I'm just kind of adding it like I did again here on the top kind of with no rhyme or reason kind of makes it look like it's a little bit ru um, rusty and you can add and take away as much of that as you need to and even after it's dry you can still come in and remove some of your 
paint. Not really dry, but let's say it's still damp. So if you think that maybe it is not matching as much up here, kind of letting it dry up a little bit, and then you can come back in and pull off. Where some of that some more of your cream shows through. You guys can kind of see that. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that on here or not. So just play with it, get a feel for it, see what you like, because you can always kind of pull back away from it and um, decide how you feel about it as you go along. So I'm gonna pull it, twist it back this way. So you can kind of see how it makes a big difference when you're, um, it kind of, you know, we wanna say, it just kind of details it out maybe a little bit more pull it this way and I'm going to work on on some more of that this area here so I'm just kind of painting with um, a couple of Dixie Bells colors tonight especially on just this hardware. This is the tedious part. I know a lot of people, um, when you see something like this, you don't realize how long it takes, I guess, to get these pieces done, but they do take a little bit of time, especially when you're doing a lot of the hand painting. Of course, most all of our furniture is hand painted, but This is a little bit more time consuming. Again, this is the coffee bean I'm putting on. It doesn't take a lot, especially since I'm putting it on. right back off again is what I'm going to end up doing. Tonight's a little different. I did clean this, however, the same way um, that we do all of our furniture. I did clean it with the white lightning cleaner. Um, it was previously painted. You guys probably saw it sitting um, in the back, back there. I did use it as a display for a while. Um, I've had my mind on what I was gonna do with it. And that's why um, the cleaning process is so important because when you're working on these pieces, that's when it sort of comes to you. Um, what you want to do to the piece and this this has been just sitting there waiting for me to get the chairs done along with this piece behind me it's still sitting here um, this piece of furniture waiting for me to get done but whenever my stuff my stuff always goes off to the wayside when I'm working on clients furniture so 
this is when I get my creative juices flowing when I get to when I'm doing some of my work um, my customers create I work in their creative zone when I'm working on their pieces because I'm, I'm working for them and um, and then I am fulfilling their creativities and now I'm back to mine working on some of my stuff in between furniture so I'm coming in and I'm cleaning a little of that back off because you put on and you come back in and you clean it off kind of bring it back to some extent and it's a little harder when you're working this close to freshly painted furniture but remember, you can always come in and clean up if you need to. Now I'm going to come in here with my rusty nail. I'm going to add it. So I'm just kind of tamping these colors on. Wipe it back to kind of blend them. That's just kind of how I'm going to get this vintage. More of a vintage look. There you go. It kind of gives you an idea of how to kind of use a couple of different colors to come in and um, create some different look with your pieces. It's always fun to work and create different looks with your pieces so i'm going to continue on working on this piece um you guys can stay tuned for um won't be long we'll have um uh, have the end result of this piece coming out or close to it because um we, i will continue working on it and um I know a lot of you guys may have time off coming up soon. It's fixing to be Christmas. So um, if I don't see you guys here in a little while, I um, hope you all enjoy the holidays with your family and friends. And I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Um, we're playing it by ear, whether we will be here Thursday, um, probably so. But um, if not, we'll probably be um, spending, enjoying that time with um, family and friends just as you guys are. So I'm going to let you all go for tonight. And I hope you all have a very blessed holiday. And um, we look forward to seeing you on our next live. So thank you so much for joining us tonight while we were working on our um, chest here. And um, we will see you again soon. Have a blessed evening, everyone. Bye-bye.